Hey everyone, Alex here. Today's cavalry tutorial is going to be how to make these 3D gradient twists. Okay, so I guess the first thing we should do is start in a brand new composition as we always do. And I'm gonna start by pressing forward slash background and create a background shape. On this background shape, just for a bit of texture, I'm going to right click shaders, add shader, multi point gradient. If we then select the multi point gradient, we can just move these points out of the way. Um, we'll make one of them a purple, and then one of them this light blue that we've used in the other composition. Might just lower the intensity on the darker one. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll group those and never think of them again. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is I'm going to use a capsule shape. So I'm going to Alt or Options click the capsule. I'm going to load the capsule into the attribute editor and I'm going to change the radius of one of the ends of this capsule. And as you can see, we had it end, the end gets thinner or fatter. Same for the other side with the start. But we'll leave start as it is and we'll just put the end to 25, so half as much. I'm also just going to enable the stroke and set the width to 1 just for now just so we can see what we're doing. With the capsule shape selected, press the duplicator button up in the shelf and we've got duplicates. We're going to change the distribution on the duplicator to circle and we're just going to go wild and we're going to change the count to 750. Quite a lot. This is important to get in the fake 3D effect. Okay, so the next step now is to right click shape position on the duplicator, add behavior, and we're gonna add a stagger to the Y position. We're gonna open the stagger. Now we're just gonna go wild. We're gonna set the maximum so that the one end goes all the way off the top of the composition and the same for the minimum. Then back on the duplicator, we're also gonna add a stagger to shape rotation. So add behavior, stagger on shape rotation. And we'll just set this anywhere between minus 180 and plus 180. Ah, we need to move the top end up a little bit. And the only thing we're going to do different on the shape rotation is we're going to right click offset, add behavior frame. And it's going to make sure that the shapes actually twist without the unnecessary use of keyframes. All that's left to do now is open the capsule shape that we used originally. Disable the stroke and you'll see why I needed the stroke because you can't actually tell that that's 3D at all at the moment. But back on the capsule shape, we're going to go to the fill tab, right click shaders, add gradient shader. Load the gradient shader. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, on this gradient attribute, there's a J. This is for jitter. I'm just going to increase that to yeah, about 0.1 just to give it a little bit of texture and then you can set your gradient colors just by selecting a stop and changing these colors. I'm just going to drag the colors I used in the original and now all that's left to do really is just to go back on the duplicator and start customizing this a bit. Start playing around with the attributes. So I'm just going to increase the radius a bit, maybe increase the scale or shape scale a tiny bit. Edit the rotation, change the start angle so we've got a bit more of a twist to it. And then when you press play, we're good, we're going. Another fun thing you can do here is if you go back onto the capsule shape, you can start playing around with shape types. So we're going to change the capsule to a cogwheel and we've got an entirely different shape which is awesome. Now you can start messing around with things like tooth depth or any of the other attributes on here, pitch radius, just start getting some really cool things. Maybe if we switch it to a, not tried it with the super ellipse yet, that could be cool. There's some cool stuff already, yeah, look at that. I implore you, yeah, just play around with it, enjoy it, see what it's got to offer. There's so many cool things you can do with this. Anyway, that is that. It's up to you guys now to take that and go and make your own things out of it. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, then like, subscribe, send me a message, let me know what you want to see, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.